Hey all, Russ here. Good morning. It's Saturday morning. We're getting ready to get the heck out of Tracy here. What a nice day. This is a nice little RV park here at the Tracy Elks Lodge. Look at the little barbecue area they have here. Patio. I sat out here last night and just enjoying the moon. Look at these big palm trees. Aren't those cool? Birds chirping. Just a neat place. If you're an elk member and ever get down there around Tracy, just below Stockton, Modesto area, be sure to stop here and stay. Nice, nice lodge. Alrighty, get over the motor home and get her buttoned up. And we gotta do some miles. We're gonna do about 300 miles today. Alright, slide is going in. They move slow, but it's all. Uh, this one's hydraulic. Some are just worm drive. This one's a hydraulic. We can see her going in. It'll close down tight. And tight fit. We're ready for the road. Alrighty, it's supposed to be really hot today, so I'm not looking forward to that. So it's a little after 7 in the morning. We did pretty good. Time I walked scoobs and got everything buttoned up. Not bad. This road here is kind of the main drag that goes into the town of Tracy. I think it's uh, 11th Street, but we go to the right and we're going to get up here on I-5. And straight into that sun. Man, that, that is bright. Alrighty, hopping on I-5 here. Okay, this is I-5 South. It's long, flat, straight. Not too much traffic yet, but there will be. <laughs> And we're just going to keep right on trucking. We won't get off five. We'll just stay right on this road. Okay, off to the left. I don't know if you can see that windmill. That's Anderson Split Pea Soup. That's a pea soup place. Way too early in the morning to get pea soup. But yeah, another time. Definitely stop there. It's a good little uh, place to eat. Well, there's not a lot to film right now, so I'm just going to switch the camera off and I'll click her on when I see something good. <laughs> so, I'll be back. Check out the dust in the air and smog. It looks like fog up there. Look at that. All the farmers are working the fields. It is just a big dust bowl here. Okay, I'll be back. It is just getting hotter than a pistol. It's in the 90s now, and it's only uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. It's just a hot one. Okay, we're getting close to Bakersfield. Should be right up the road here. All right, there's the Bakersfield turnoff. That's uh, that Highway 58. That's how we went, came in back in the spring. That'll take you over to uh, the east side of Bakersfield and up through the Tehachapi's in that Orange Grove RV park where I got all the oranges. So, okay, we should be getting up here close to the grapevine. It's so hazy and dusty, you can't even see the mountains yet. <laughs> and there's a big mountain range right, right up in front. Okay, well, a few more miles, we'll be up close to the grapevine. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, welcome to the grapevine, and this is one steep climb here. We're going to go slow. All trucks go slow over this thing. 
uh, I forget the pitch of the grade, but it's you go up to almost like 4,000 feet, somewhere around there, and it's hot too. But you never want to get in a hurry on these type of grades. I mean, just do what your rig's going to do. This is a huge RV. It weighs close to 20,000 pounds with only a V10. Here, I'm going to show you. Okay, right there I'm doing about 23 RPMs, 30 miles an hour, but look at my temperature that's staying way down. I drive by the temperature gauge. I could care less how fast it's going. And I'm going just as fast as most semis here, and that's good enough. Now I could push it harder and maybe get her up to around 40 miles an hour, but it's not worth it. You can overheat and damage your engine, but you can see there temperatures below half 2300 rpm at 30 miles an hour absolutely good enough we'll make it there and uh, we'll be up top here in about five ten minutes that sign says 4180 feet we made it to the top of the summit here this is the top of the grapevine and it's straight downhill now we're running back up to speed but old breeze did good temperature stayed down very good very happy with that my ex exit's coming up here smoky bear road that's it i picked a low rv park i'm gonna stay up here tonight i'm gonna drive into through la in uh tomorrow morning which will be sunday morning so i won't have all the traffic to fight this little rv park uh it's kind of up here by itself but it had good reviews didn't hear anything bad about it. Kind of follow the frontage road until it dead ends, and that's it. That's what the lady said. <laughs> you can't go anywhere else, so we got to stay. All right, welcome to the Lake Pyramid RV Resort. We'll see what kind of resort they got. Very friendly people. They're Korean. And they have a church camp up here. And they a lot of boaters come up here and stay. They have tent camping. All kinds of good stuff. Got a dog park. They do not have cable TV, so you need satellite. Or you're out of luck. But they do offer Wi-Fi here in the park, which she said is pretty good. So, good enough. Alrighty, I'm looking for space 105. Okay, there's the shower house and restrooms. They got laundry here if you need it. Alright, well it's been a long day, long drive, very hot weather. Breeze did really well over the mountains. Didn't heat up at all. Very happy of that. All right, well, Scoobs and I are going to call this home for the evening. This is Russ signing off now. I hope everyone has a great day, and don't forget to travel safe. Talk to you real soon.